Hey, so what's going on guys? Make here with Directed Reviews and welcome back to another video. So today we have the Honor X9 5G in the studio. It's kind of a random unboxing today. But anyways, this is my take on the unboxing of the Honor X9 5G and I believe this is one of the most value for money mid-range 5G device uh, on the market right now. It brings pretty good cameras, very large display, good for gaming, for watching videos, Netflix, YouTube stuff like that and yeah of course it has emui and it's my personal favorite when it comes to android because of uh, all the past uh, huawei devices which i've been using and the honor is no exception okay guys so let's go through the packaging real quick so we have a glimpse of the device on the front with the 5g logos because this is the 5g version for a very big honor x9 this is the black version so let me give you the model number and stuff like that so you can see it has 128 gb of rom and 8 gb of ram this phone has the feature where you can use your rom as a ram so you can allocate a certain a portion of the rom if you do not have enough ram so yeah this is a pretty neat feature on android okay let's unbox this real quick so inside you get a starch bag right here and take out the device so on the top you get this uh film so which highlights the features of this phone so as you can see it has a 66 watt on a supercharged which is basically the same as the huawei's supercharge and then we get a 4800 amps hour battery which should last you a day uh, on heavy use and also slightly more than a day on like regular moderate usage so you also have honor ram turbo which actually gives you better performance when it comes to gaming and multitasking so yeah, it's a very good thing on a mid-range device. So, yeah, I'm not going to peel this because it's not my device. But anyways, you can see right here, we have the Matrix triple camera setup. You can see this is a pretty small lens because I believe they do have a macro lens. They do not have a tally lens with this. So, yeah, they have a wide angle and a macro as well as a regular ultra wide. So, nothing to shout about, but this is a mid-range device. You're going to accept the compromises when it comes to... Not only the cameras, but in terms of build quality, when it comes to that, this is actually a plastic frame. So you're going to be expecting like aluminium or stainless steel, stuff like that, because those devices would generally cost a pretty penny. So on the right side, we have a fingerprint scanner on the side. So this is also the power button as well. And it's uh, on the top here, you get like the volume rockers up and down. I initially thought this was the power button because of how small this is. Because normally uh, volume rockers are slightly longer so but anyways uh yeah it is what it is on the left side uh, basically nothing at all you can see right here on the back this is the black version so yeah on the branding gloss black you can see fingerprints already there uh let me take a look at the top okay the top is where you will see the speaker grill which is kind of awkwardly placed because they wanted the full display look then we have the secondary noise cancellation microphone, I believe. Yeah, it is. And then on the bottom, we get the speaker grill. This is a mono speaker setup. Yeah, it's kind of a bummer. I wish this has stereo speaker setup because it would sound really awesome, especially on the big display. It does have a USB Type-C. I believe this is 2.1. I'm not sure, really sure on that, but I believe, yeah, it's the older standard. We get the main microphone as well as the SIM card, the dual SIM card slot. Okay, so basically, that is what it is for the device. Let's take a look at uh, what comes in the box. So, of course, we do have the SIM card tray. I believe there's a case inside as well. Okay, so we have the SIM card ejector tool. We have some warranty stuff, I believe. Let me see, I got the wrong side up. So, yeah, it's a quick start guide. And then we have a very thin jelly case which would actually yellow so uh this phone unlike other like higher end uh, or mid-range uh, android devices you're not going to be getting like a ton of cases available for this device but yeah there are some on the market and i believe those are almost similar to one right here maybe slightly more sturdier but it's really hard to find especially in malaysia uh, cases for the honor x9 because it is uh, a pretty I just say not that popular mid-range device, but for me, I think this is the best value for money still. Okay, let's see what else comes in the box. So we do have the USB-C cable, USB-A to USB-C. Let's see right here with a yellow plug. We have 
uh, USB-C to 3.5 mm audio cable because yes, this does not have uh, 3.5 mm jack. So yeah, when anyway, most of us uh, we use Bluetooth these days, uh, no, not many people actually use the 3.5 mm headphone jack because of uh, how some of the mid-range devices doesn't sound that good. Uh, so definitely USB-C will be giving you better quality audio, especially if you are using like Tidal and stuff like that. So yeah, this is the super fast charger. Of course, this is a rare site as well because normally manufacturers uh, like Samsung, Apple, uh, they do not come with the charging brick, but this comes with a 66 watt Honor supercharge or Huawei supercharge is similar. And this prong actually comes up because we are in Malaysia and we are using the UK standard. So this is going to get your phone charged up in no time at all. Uh, of course, being a mid-range device, this does lack uh, wireless charging. So you're going to be missing out on that. Definitely, if you are someone that wants wireless charging, you have to look somewhere else on slightly higher um, pricey devices. But for me, mid-range devices, it is probably be a spare phone or something. Uh, I guess wired charging will do. This actually charges this up to 80% in like 30 minutes, or something like that. So it's pretty fun. So this has been a quick unboxing of the Honor X9, a 5G, 5G edition. So yeah, I will be looking into some cases for this device. If I get some good ones, I'll definitely share with you guys. So thanks guys for watching. If you did like this video, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.